Hello. Hello and welcome, everyone. Welcome to your Sunday evening. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. I hope you're still having a lovely weekend. And uh, yes, indeed, for those in the UK, I hope you also had a lovely, lovely Mother's Day. I've just gotten back in the car. I just drove over to see my mum, where I gave some flowers, and in exchange, I got lots of food. Uh, yes, whenever I go see my mum, just like my nan before her, uh, I get fed copious amounts of food. In this case, it was homemade pizzas. And uh, also, I left with, uh, like, three legs of frozen duck that just appeared in my backpack, along with chocolate cake. So... <laughs> Yeah, so just like food spontaneously appears uh, on my person when we get back. Uh, the duck is actually, yes, it's not actually for me. It's uh, it's it technically, it might be on its way out. So I'm going to cook it, cook the shit out of it and then give it to Lulu and see what she thinks. Um, no lasagna. No, no, it wasn't lasagna this time, Goosey. It was, uh, it was pizza. Right, so welcome indeed. Welcome to the Sunday stream. Um, we were going to do a bit of Ready or Not, but frankly, I think, yeah, lots of people are out for Mother's Day, and also I fancied something a bit lower energy, and honestly, I've been thoroughly, thoroughly sucked into this game this week, as my playlist, the VOD playlist, can clearly show. Oh, holy shit! Thank you both of my clan mates. Thank you, Digby, and thank you, Jinx. Thank you sincerely for the raids there, and welcome, Raiders. I hope you're okay. For those who have not been following Sons of the Forest, fear not, I will recount the plot as I understand it, although this is an open world, uh, sort of environmental storytelling mystery game, so uh, I've got the pieces that I'm putting together, I'm sure some of them are in the wrong position, and uh, for those who are unfamiliar, I did a very large, technically the largest YouTube video I've ever done, on the, uh, on, on the first game in this now series, I suppose, on the forest. The reason I did an enormous video essay was because that game did something really, really fucking strange. Uh, many things that were very strange. Uh, I chalked it down to a survival game that ha added a story in post and didn't really, like, mesh it together. So I'm saying this because I'm really, absolutely captivated to see the ending to this. I want to see... Not to, like, like be a cunt. I'm not, I, don't, I don't want to, like, pick it apart. What I want to do is contrast the two approaches. I want to see if there is any meaningful difference in the way that the story flows uh, with, the, with the foreknowledge that the story was going to be in there from the beginning. That's what I'm here to figure out. So, for this reason, I'm absolutely captivated by Sons of the Forest. Now, welcome, everyone. Hang on a moment. Sorry, that's just the main menu. Okay. So I did play for about half an hour this morning. I really haven't gotten very far at all. I ran from my camp, which is just down that hill, into the now snowless forest. It was the winter. It's now spring. Sorry, pardon me. And uh, I set up a small canvas. I was attempting to hunt some deer. I made a right pig's ear of it. Um, I shot a deer with a poison arrow. Then I shot another deer with an, another arrow, and it ran off. And then I ran into a giant cannibal, and I sliced his leg off and kept on running down the trail. So that more or less sums up the story of Sons of the Forest. Thank you for watching. No, no, hang on. So let me just, just uh, disable the shelter. Okay. So, whoops. What's going on? Good question. Very good question. I'm playing as a gentleman who I think is a journalist. A few days ago, I was on a helicopter that was travelling to this island. One moment. So I've got a GPS marker here. Oh, hello. It's a squirrel. Okay, we'll start tracking back to the base. It's down there on the coast. So, I was on a helicopter that was uh, travelling to this place alongside um, men wearing armour. Black Kevlar armour. And I believed, based on the, what the pilots were saying, is that we were possibly a rescue mission for the CEO of a pharmaceutical company called Puff Corp. Apparently he went missing about seven months ago. We didn't get far because the helicopter somehow crashed. I heard a... Oh, there's a cannibal camp over there. I heard a dull thudding sound and then the helicopter went down. So I think we've been... Sh hang on. I do need deer. I think the helicopter was shot down. Why and by who? I don't know yet. But on this island, fucking craziness. Not only are there crazed... Whoa freakish humanoid amalgamations of flesh and bone. Cannibal people in their camps who attack me regularly. Ooh. But there are also security forces who are running around shooting things. I've not actually physically witnessed the shooting, only on a recording that I found. 
they're shooting men wearing robes. And the men in robes with flowers on their heads, garlands of flowers, are stabbing the workers and I assume the security forces with knives. Pe people are going fucking crazy on this island. Why? Well, I think I might have found... Ignore that you know, cannibal creature there. I went into a cave and I found something mysterious. This device, whatever it is, made out of a material that I think a newspaper called Solar Fight. Okay, yeah, avoid whatever the fuck that is. Ooh, Jesus. What it is, I don't know, but it was surrounded by frozen corpses, all panicking, frozen in fear, and I can't tell whether or not it was just a, it was just a trick of the light, but it almost looked like the, the skeletons were being turned into Solar Fight. Huh. A gunshot. Virginia's here. I'll explain her in a bit. Let's get back to the camp. Let her do her thing. Is she in trouble? I'm sure she's fine. She has a handgun. Thank you, Swedish twig. And where is the camp? It's just down river. Let's just follow the river. Anyway, so to summarize, yes, Crash Landed, uh, I think, a botched rescue. Uh, there seems to be... So the pharmaceutical company seems to be ostensibly running the island, but cannibals, cultists, uh, strange underground relics, and uh, security forces. Oh my. Uh, yes, yeah, so lots of things running amok here. In addition, I'm finding that so uh, notes being passed back and forth between a gentleman called... Is it Yang Zhu? What's his name again? I keep struggling to remember his name. It's a lawyer, a disavowed lawyer for Puff Corp. Where is it? Here. So Edward Pufton, the CEO, to Zhang Yu Zhang, that's his name. Uh, so I saw your little tape. He was the guy running around with a shotgun shooting cultists, and I actually, I've met him. He pistol whipped me in the face when we first landed, but I don't know why. He said, who invited you? So if I had to hazard a guess as to where the story is going, I think, I think the corporation, Puff Corp, a pharmaceutical company, have lost control of the island. I think... The lawyer has gone rogue with his own little private army of security forces. There's a helicopter that keeps watching me. I think it might be him. Or maybe his people watching me. I think he's gone rogue with his own little private army shooting the cultists. And, well, basically everyone's going fucking insane for reasons unknown. Regardless, there must be more pieces of this artifact. I surmise that because, well, A... If I click it in my inventory, I can combine it with about seven, well, six other pieces of the artifact. But also, I found a very creepy diagram. I found a few very creepy diagrams. Thank you, Toxic Wally and Swedish Twig, Fizzy Winkles, R. Wraith and Sleepy Lyra. Hang on. It's a missing CEO. Yeah, there was this note seven months ago, an unusual burst seven months ago. Readings were similar to what we would see in a brief dimensional shift Whatever the... A uh, switch. Whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, this is a note pretty much outright admitting. The lawyer. I'm heading back to the island to see what's left of everyone. Time to assemble a team. Sahara is able to fund me in ways Pufton never would. He's gone rogue. Okay. Who the heck is Jack Holt? Where's that picture? Sorry. Never leave the island. I found that. I haven't slept in three months. There is something in the caves. Yeah, this, look. What the fuck that is, I don't know. We found it and broke it into six parts. I've killed the others. Okay, it's getting quite dark. That's my camp. Is this lost? I don't know yet. We'll find out. We'll see if the mystery goes anywhere. I'm extremely intrigued. Thank you, Black Zebra. I can't see shit. Alright. So here we have the outer perimeter. So I built on this uh, this sand flat, this uh, alluvial deposit thing. This is quite fun. Do I still have one of the... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So a lot of the traps are fun, but they do work on Looney Tunes logic. This is a turtle shell on some sticks and some wire. Why it does this, I have no idea. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it catapults people that stand on it. Cannibals go flying. It's great. Uh. Anyway, so welcome to the base. It's a bit hard to see. I've just made a log cabin here. We're not actually alone. Two people are here with me. So another survivor from the crash, one called Kelvin. Where is Kelvin? Is he inside? 
Hey, Kelvin. Why were you, what were you doing? Were you trying to scare me for a prank or something? He's mute. He hit his head in the crash. Okay. Sweet! Another another piece of deer hide. Okay, I need to find six more pieces to finish the sofa. Ah! You can sit in front of the fire. Alright. So, let's give it a save. I'm just going to close the door. Lock the door. Kelvin, you can sleep outside. Oh, hang on. Before I do, we have some meat. I found some meat on the deer. Let's, uh, yeah, light the fire. Make sure this is lit. So, Kelvin, the survivor from the crash, and also, on my right, approaching me, is a very mysterious woman. Found on the island, observing us, and only recently had she started approaching. I think her name is Virginia. I think she's the daughter of the CEO. Building the fire. Hang on. There we go. Put the meat up here. There we go. Let that dry. Right. Where is she? She's coming through the gate. Here she is. So yes, I'm really hoping that she proves to be integral to the plot. She's been introduced... <coughs> what? There's nothing there. You okay? There's nothing there, Virginia. Relax. Oh god. She's right. There's one of the cannibal babies. <laughs> Jesus. They've made a return since the forest won. Hmm. Mutated babies. Okay. Let's get into bed. Put this away. Right. Give it a save. So for those joining the live stream, welcome... Yeah, welcome to the forest too. Okay, so let's sleep. Lock the door. Sleep. Okay, we didn't get attacked overnight. Hey, Virgin uh, hey, Virginia. Right. So, yeah, the base is a bit open. I, mean, I need to build more traps. These are actually some experimental traps that I found. This is like a, a head decapitator. It spins around at great speed and the sticks cut people's heads off. Oh, hello. Well, I think we're about to get a demonstration. We're being observed. The cannibal behaviours have been hugely reworked, and they're actually really interesting. <coughs> okay, I pissed him off. Come on. Virginia has herself a handgun. Whoa, she just dropped that guy. Holy shit. Oh, it's one of those. Is she wearing a golden mask? She's one of their... Jesus Christ. She does not give a shit. <laughs> okay. I presume he's going to run away. No, just a bone mask. What is she wearing? So this intrigues me. So again, like, did did she put this on? Or is are these the remains of a... Because it almost looks like a dress. You know, like a, like a, a socialite's dress. Did people... So in the first game, the origin of the cannibals wasn't clear at all. Are these people from like a resort who have gone fucking crazy? Alternatively, did she just put the dress on? Alternatively, maybe the devs didn't think about it. Again, we'll find out at the end. But if they are people who have gone fucking mental, then the artifacts, maybe they're, like, eroding people's sanity. I mean, this guy's covered in flesh, but look. He too is... is are those jeans? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, hold on. What's that? Are they jeans? Okay. Yeah, I really hope this connects. I really, really hope this does. But sorry, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm sort of feeding around this is because I, I've got, I'm off two minds. I'm trying to be immersed in the game, but also I'm, I'm trying to compare it to the first one. In the first one, the mysterious artifacts that were the central MacGuffin of the plot, um, they didn't really seem to be doing anything, to, or at least it wasn't directly specified that they were doing anything to the people on the island. I mean, a pharmaceutical company set up their lab all around it. They weren't concerned at all. But if these artifacts are sending people loopy, then it goes a long way to explain just the overall cannibal presence and behaviours. They're going insane through exposure. Okay, anyway. So, 
Let's get food and water and get sorted and get back out there as quickly as I can. Also, yes, so new NPC behaviors for the sequel. What are you eating? Virginia? Virginia! Did you just eat that guy's foot? You creepy, creepy lady. Ugh. Anyway, so yes, NPC behaviors. They gather resources, they repair your base, they even help you build, they reset traps. Virginia, stop eating the fucking thing. Look, I'll, I will get... You catch your own fish. You bring me fish. Go get your own damn fish from the river. Jesus. Okay. Haven't I eaten a human... Oh, that was an accident. I misclicked. I misclicked. Right. Okay, water. Where's water? Equip my plastic flask. Yeah, let's get ourselves some food. Quite a bit of food. In fact, hang on a minute. What's this here? Is this just boiled water? I believe it is. Hold down E. Nope. Oh, wait. Shit. I see. It's, it's dirty water that has not boiled. Okay. Equip. Hold down E. Then bring up the recipes menu. Whoops. Can't see shit. There we go. Please simply... Oh, no. The wheel is blocked. I can't actually see. No, there it is. Okay. Clean water. Just boil some clean water. All right. Thank you, Nifty Noodle. Thank you, Kelvin. Appreciate it, sir. Picking up rocks and storing them. Ah, we have some uh, rainwater anyway. All right. Thank you, Mertfish. Thank you very much, Mertfish. And Nifty Noodle, the McBain, Jax and Black Zebra, and Toxic Wally. Thank you, all of you. Right. Yeah, wait for that water to finish. What about cooking? Well, I've got lots of cat food, frankly. It's going to take a while for that meat to cook anyway. Um, let's, yeah. <laughs> this guy's a bit of a nutcase, to be honest. Look. Let's open this can of cat food. Mmm. Gelatinous. And then just, you know, fucking just stuff, stuff it in your golf. <laughs> Yummy. Right. Yep. Schlorp. Just like a seagull, you know, just, just chow it all down. All right. Right, wait for the water to finish boiling. Uh, yep. Got another log on the fire. All right. So. Oh, yes, let me do that thing that people suggested. One moment. I would like to try and, if possible, get the... So, hang on. Display. Gameplay. Show tutorials off. Sweet. At the bottom left side, it said gather deer hides. I just want to get that off the screen so to make the footage useful to edit. Okay. She's glistening wet because she's been in the lake, so her nips are showing through. We need to give. We need to get you some clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Need to go find her some clothes. One second, Kelvin. Kelvin, 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 mate. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I have great news. I have clothes. I found some clothes for you. Here, take these pajamas. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Uh... <laughs> Just a look of disdain. <laughs> Oh, fuck. What? You look cozy. Make yourself at home. You never leave anyway. Right. Ah, drinking water is ready. Right. Equip. Go here. Fill this. Lovely jubbly. Right, what I then might do is I might actually... Yeah, can I cook something proper before we go? Before I return to exploring? So, drink the whole lot. <clears throat> okay. Ilsa needs a better better view of Kelvin for research purposes. There. Is that what you wanted? Kelvin butt? Right. So, let's get some dirty water. There we go. Scoop. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a, a lovely, lovely Sunday. So I went to go see my mum. I, I went to a, a, a florist uh, in Brighton. And uh, got, us, uh, yeah, got us some nice flowers. Right, hang on. So what can I make? So what's this? So chicken and noodle soup. 
Wait, don't I have some ramen noodles? Wait, I'm not adding a human arm. What the fuck? Why does chicken noodle soup require a human arm? The third option. What the fuck? Okay. Mushrooms that I don't have. Hmm. Okay, looks like I need to pay more attention to mushrooms in general. What's that? Is that an egg? Right. Yeah, it's seasoning. Okay, take the ramen noodles. Right. Uh, so hang on. Cooked... Yeah, just cooked ramen noodles. So food and water, and what's that? Is that comfort? Warmth? Not sure. Hang on. Uh, R? Yeah, just throw the whole pot... Yeah, the whole pot in. It's fine. You know, fuck. There we go. Alright. So, where should I go now? What's my next lead? I mean, frankly, going down into the cave systems probably would be wise. I could take the glider, but probably going on the ground so I can run into things, you know, up and down roads might be wiser. So there is a giant mountain chain. I haven't really explored a huge amount behind it. We could go back to the golf course, wrap our way round. Yeah, start moving. Yeah, we'll move easy. Yeah, I'll take the, the glider. So I'll lift myself up into the air. Go find a golf cart over near the golf. There's a golf course over there for some reason. And then start exploring and see if we can... What else can we find? What other clues can we find here on this forest? Thank you, Soul of Regret. Thank you for the, the sub bomb there. That's very kind of you. If you're just joining the stream, welcome. I'm just in my camp on the beach. Oh, hello. I hear a problem. Kelvin's in trouble. Kelvin, did you get hit in the face with a flying baby? Where is it? There it is. Creepy things. Oh, deary, deary me. Right. Okay, let's take the ramen noodles. Let's go. Oops, eat some. Okay, that's fine. Take the rest of it. Right. So let's go. Let's see what I can find and, and yeah, figure out where it is. So I've got my little launch point. Uh, yeah, my little launch platform for the glider. Let's just save it before it goes wrong. <laughs> you just throw down all the rocks in disgust. Fuck it. Build a turtle trap atop the tower, Zarek. I don't think I can build traps on the buildings. Can I? always test it. Ah, oh, look, aloe vera. I was growing it. Good. Apparently it can make medicine. Right. Need to clear those trees for an easier an easier ascent. Okay, so can I build one of these weird spring traps? Oh, okay. I stand corrected. You can. Right. I require seven sticks of turtle shell and a bit of wire. May as well go down here and grab this one. Ah, thank you very much, Virginia. She's bought me some salmon berries. Thank you very much. So you can gather food. Thank you. Stop eating people. All right. So hold down C. Oh, wonderful. I can pick up the entire trap without having to paint the blueprint again. Ah, can I? No, because I can't climb. So let's right click, break it down into its components. Pick up those components and... You okay? Right, hang on. Up we go. Yeah, maybe she's fattening me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute. My phone's doing a wobbly. Alright. So, from the top of my tower, which I built to try and give me a little bit of uh, lift, but yeah, but basically get it higher up before I, I use my glider. Let's now... Okay, you know what I might do? How much... I've got quite a bit of printer resin. We might take a quick stop. What? All, oh my god, these are all GPS locators. Am I meant to be dropping these to locate stuff? Actually, yeah, that's probably something I should be doing. Aha! That makes more sense now. Yeah, just drop these where I need to. Okay. So, let me fly first to the entertainment bunker, which is south of me. Uh, there's a 3D printer there. Someone was held up. I'm guessing it was Zhang. 
So I'm going to go use it to make some arrows, because I've only got a few. So if I go down into the caves, I'm going to need some good arrows. Here we go. We launch, and we fly. Then we're going to scoot down to pick up some speed. And try and get a bit higher. Right. Same deal. Scoot down to get some speed. Yep, magic glider physics. So where is... It's over there. See the, the pulsing blue icon? Okay. So, for those joining, uh, yes, it, well, I suppose the, the question is, is the game any good? So far, I've been super impressed. I'm really keen to see if they stick the landing. That's the thing. Will all of the mystery come together to make a coherent whole? That's the thing that I think is a, yeah, will really clinch it for me. But mechanically, it's great. I think it's an upgrade over the original forest in almost every way. Pretty much every way. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm struggling to think if there's one element that's thus far been deficient. Okay. So again, dive for a bit. Pick up some speed. There we go. Oh, a lovely open bit here. Okay. Yeah, there's the golf buggy that I crashed trying to hunt deer. Right. So yeah, over here, folks. Oh yes, on the YouTube side of things, I'm still trying to get this bullshittery out the door for you. I did another test render this afternoon and was fixing errors, but there's still a couple of major ones. Mostly the rest are minors and trivials. I'm really hoping I can get it done tomorrow, frankly. How do you land? An excellent question. I'm oh, sorry, it's armor, Tressie. It's armor, prairie fire, so Vietnam. So down there is the entertainment bunker. Let's take it down. Oh, maybe that's a bit too fast! I'm alive. I'm alive. See? That's how you land. Right, where is it? Here. So, next to an overgrown golf buggy. Covered in foliage. There is, in fact, up here. Hi there, Alistair. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Where is it? Oh, it's still some distance up the river. Okay. So, yes, I went to go see my mum. She's good. Uh, yesterday, I was a bit of a noob. I said, that, yeah, so early in the morning, I went over to uh, a florist uh, in Brighton, and I drove for the first time into a multi-story concrete car park. I've been driving for a few years now. Only, well, not that many years. Only since about 2019, I think. Um, and uh, I'd never actually gone into a multi-story car park before. So, like a noob, I rocked up to the, the ticket dispensing thing at the main gate. Didn't park close enough in order to actually reach the ticket out the window. So I had to get out like a fucking idiot. Grabbed the ticket. It had a QR code. No idea what it was for. Do I pay now? Or do I pay later? Is there an app? I don't know. So I stood around like a tourist reading the instructions. No help whatsoever. In the end, I didn't pay. I couldn't find an option to pay. The only option on the machine was free exit. So I was like, okay. I came back to the car park, having visited the florist. And I was like, okay. And then the barrier just lifted and I drove away. So I've committed a crime. <laughs> Again. <laughs> uh, right. So here it is. So yes, a strange underground... Oh! What is that? Oh, sorry. The fire suppression system. Sorry, that made me jump. I forgot about that. Yes, I had a torch on. Ooh, that did make me jump. Fuck. Again. So 
sorry, I thought I heard something. Huh. Okay, um, right. So someone has been staying here. I'm guessing it's the, our our lawyer, uh, Yang Yu Zhang. Yan Yu Yan Yu Zhang, former corporate lawyer. Okay, so can I get some arrows, please? In fact, I have some. So these are crossbow bolts, but I haven't found a crossbow. These are just regular arrows. So please give me some of these. I think I can carry about twenty. So I'll get the full amount and then try to convert some into explosive, uh, explosive ones if possible. Okay. Why does it say 4pm on the side of the computer? I don't know. I don't know. Right. Grab some of this. Uh, let's pour in more of the 3D printer. Well, good. 850. That's loads. Okay, some more, please. Right. So, how many do I have? Which one? So, carbon fiber arrows, crossbow bolts, full 20, 3D printed arrows. Can it print other things? Yes, it can. A mysterious red mask that I made. I do not know why. I do not. I don't know why he had this here. Uh, what else? You can make little pieces of a tech armor, whatever that is. Uh, what else? Flask. I've got a mask. A grappling hooks for getting around. Wait, grappling hooks. Is it the same as a zip line? Zip line rope. Hold on. I assumed. Sled. I haven't made a sled yet. GPS case, arrows, flask, grappling hook. Hmm. Are they the same? Okay. Uh, Zipline rope. Can anybody see a grappling hook? Uh, what's that? A silence at a pistol rail. Night vision goggles. Next to the feathers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Grappling hook. Can't combine it with anything. Okay, thank you. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I thought those were zip lines. Okay, a thousand. I don't have enough. Damn. Even at max, I didn't have enough. A thousand uh, milliliters for the sled. Right, more arrows, please. Combine it with the rope? Are you sure? Hang on, I'll have a look. Combine it with the rope. Did it say that? Right click, combine. No, look, there's nothing. Nothing. On the cog. Normally it says, hey, you can. Yeah. No recipe. Nope, not viable. Are you thinking zipline? No, zipline rope. Press the rope. Sure. So, combine. Bone armor or repair tool. Hmm. You can combine it with the rope, but you're full on ziplines. Oh, do you reckon? Do you reckon this just is the head for these? Zipline rope. Not sure. We'll work it out. Hang on. So, uh, let's... Oh, I see. You're saying that because the rope was not greyed out on the interface. Oh, you're correct. Strange. Bug, maybe? Yes, that would imply that if it's not greyed out on the interface, on the interface, you can combine it. Hmm. Okay. Um, anyway. Flask, mask, grappling hook, uh, sled... Sorry, I want to do this rather quickly because I don't want to be stuck here. Hang on. So 3D print. So put four of the 3D printed arrows, and let's make some explosive 3D printed arrows for two batteries, two two bricks of C4, a circuit, and a wire. Yeah, get some of these. These are quite powerful. We're going to need these when we face the horrors down in the caves. Okay, more of these. And Save the batteries. I'm going to need them to explore those caves. 
Right, we have some grenades as well, which is quite nice. Right. More arrows, if you please. Anyway, for those just joining the stream, welcome to Sons of the Forest. If you don't know what you're looking at, I'm currently in a mysterious underground bunker. It seems to continue all the way to the end, where there looks like to be, I'm not sure what it is, some resort-looking thing with lounging chairs and soothing music with a keycard that won't let me proceed. I'm wondering if perhaps this island, which was purchased by a pharmaceutical company called Puff Corp, Maybe it had some sort of resort on it, or maybe, more likely, a resort was being built. I'm f I keep finding construction equipment and a golf course that was being built, with the diggers breaking through into the caves below. Maybe the pharmaceutical company, apparently working on anti-aging... Oh no, too many. Maybe the pharmaceutical company, perhaps trying to work on anti-aging technologies... Wait, really? Too many? Hmm, how strange. Uh, oh, I see. Do I have 20 in total? Ah, I see. The total amount you can carry is 20. I get it. Sorry, I thought that you could take 20 of each. Gotcha. Cool. Right. Give it a save. Anyway, so, um, yes, I wonder if perhaps this pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company with, uh, I'll just show you, with, um, with a newspaper article talking about uh, how they're working on age reversal technology, maybe they found the weird underground artifacts and assumed... Look, see that rich people stuff. Gold, like, encrusted purses. Money. Watches. Soothing music. A keycard that I, I can't use yet. I don't have it. Again, I'm just—I'm not seeking the—I'm not asking for the correct answer uh, uh, for those that have played the game. I'm more just fishing. Uh, fishing? No, not not fishing. I'm uh, explaining what's in my head. Maybe a resort was under construction, and then the lawyer Zhang went rogue with his security forces and started shooting everybody. Yes, thinking out loud. Also, please observe the following: I critiqued in the first game the. Almost, yeah, incre well, the incredibly frustrating way in which basic interactions would mess with your, your light, your torch, whatever. Going through a loading screen, just dipping into the water, touching a rope. No more. Automatically returns. It's simple, but yeah. Oh god, it saves me. It saves such a headache. It's one of these ones. It's the Painted Tribe. Very distinct. They're often obese. They're almost yeah. They're always obese, aren't they? Okay, let's get out of here. That golf cart. That golf cart won't work. Where are we going? Let's go back to the east side of the island. I'll need to get some elevation to launch the glider. We'll run up past them. Okay. Oh Jesus. This is female. Uh, no, no, no. Think very carefully about this. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay. Have a sit down and think about what you've done. Let's see if we can find a higher place to jump off of. Hmm. Ah, a trail? Yeah, yeah. We'll follow the... Shit. Damn it. Thank you, Red Riding Hood. Thank you very much, Red Riding Hood. Very clear shot. Get a poison one if possible. One hit with a poison one is all it's going to take. Ah! Too shallow. Hang on. Ah, damn. Can I retrieve the poison arrow? These ones are quite valuable. That's a stick. That's a stick. Stick. No. 
I think these ones go. Okay, I've never found a... Oh, no, hello. Hmm. Tell a lie. There he is. Nah, fuck it. Let's leave it. Still need to find elevation. Okay. But yeah, for those joining, I've been very impressed so far with the forest too. It's, uh, yeah, mechanically it feels like a huge upgrade. There are so many intuitive elements that have been added to its interface. Uh, the cannibal behaviors have been massively reworked. The NPC system is interesting, where you've got someone helping you around your base. I don't know if it's in co-op yet. I wonder if it's perhaps like a, a way of helping someone doing single player? I don't know yet. It's full of environmental storytelling and mystery. And I'm eager to see if it all links up in the end. Cannibal camp, small. Some cloth, some rope, I'll take it. Rope bridge, badly decaying. I saw something else earlier. I saw like um, just some deer carcasses with spears through them. Not even like a set piece, not like not that's something someone had made, you know? Uh, as in like a big camp to attack. Just lots of tiny little flourishes all over. Attention to detail. Craft. I like it. Okay, here we go. So. Thank you, um, adieu for Anton. Thank you, Anton. Here we go. Jumping. Try to pick up a bit of speed and therefore altitude. Just follow the river for a little bit. Down we go. Then up. Down we go. Clear the trees. Okay, so I'll go the yeah, I'll go northbound the same way the same way that we went before. Uh, yes indeed, I've got a, a hang glider that unfolds. I don't know if they're a thing, frankly. The helicopter that keeps following me keeps going back in the direction of the mountain. I wonder if that implies that... Well, actually thinking about it, in the first forest, Sahara Corp had their base inside a mountain, but it's because they had no choice. The base was inside a... Ooh, was inside a... Is that blood? No, just a tree. Uh, their base was inside the mountain because the artifact that they were studying was immovable. It was a massive stone-looking obelisk that had been placed there by, well, parties unknown. So I wonder if that's still true. What's my favourite change that the Sons of the Forest uh, has done over the first... Well, too early to tell. Uh, alas, I'm still collating my thoughts regarding all of the changes. Uh, but can I just say that the soundtrack, I can't remember the name of the, the, um, what is it, the gentleman who does the music, but holy cow, Gabe something? They didn't have to go so hard with the soundtrack for Sons of the Forest, but oh my god, they did. Gabe Castro. Well, well done, Gabe Castro, because holy shit. Holy shit. Oh yes, so down there were some yachts that I saw earlier. Those yachts had cultists on them with garlands of flowers around their heads. I found some other stabbed to death employees of Puff Corp with garlands of flowers around them. So I think just as they're being hunted by the security forces, again for reasons unknown, I think they too are hunting corporate employees. There's a note that says never leave the island. I don't know why they're trying to hunt people. Yes, the cultists sailed here. I've got a video showing it. Okay. So this is the golf course that was under construction. This is where all the golf carts are coming from. They're branded with a logo. What was it again? Hollow something? Hence why I guessed resort maybe? Okay. The helicopter again. 
Yeah, looking for survivors at that camp. Okay, let's get myself a uh, one of the carts and keep exploring. Ah, uh, yes, the golf course. You can actually uh, knock the golf balls around. Hang on. So in contrast, yeah. So in contrast to the first game, the helicopter. Well, sorry, there was no helicopter in... Well, there was, but it was crashed. In the first forest game. But you did, after about an hour of play, see a, a passenger airliner fly overhead. You can't signal it, and it never acknowledges you. But this helicopter follows you. Repeatedly. <whistles> Wasn't me. The helicopter follows you repeatedly. So, the game is actively saying you are being observed. Why? Okay. So we're still on the golf course, but where exactly am I going now? Let's keep moving south and see what we can investigate. Maybe stay closer to the mountain this time. Oops. Damn it. That wasn't where I meant to ford the river. Thank you, Riverside viewer. Thank you very much, Riverside. So I should probably... Ah, yes. More construction crews with their own radio. I should probably start leaving GPS markers out of my way. Or, you know, just stand there. I should leave GPS markers next to the cave systems I've explored. Nope. What are you doing? He's wearing one of the golden masks. Hmm. So this cave system, I believe this is the one that I explored on the last stream. It's gotten very dark all of a sudden. Yeah, this is where yeah this is where you saw me last. Okay, so let me leave a GPS marker here to indicate that I have indeed explored this one. Probably not what you're meant to be doing with these things. Change icon. What should I use to indicate? I suppose that would do. Cave explored. K okay, target home. That's the no, question mark. Hmm. K for explored. X, is there an X? Helicopter, question mark. Okay, X, yeah. Oh, fuck. I done goofed. Equip. Right. X, and then can I... Oh, wait, hang on. How does one just drop it? She's eating berries. Hi, Virginia. Um, oh, I see. I'm with you. Okay. Take stick. I have no stick. Uh, stick, 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 stick. <sighs> right. Uh, put the stick on the ground. So, contextual interface, not a fire. Stick. And then put on GPS marker. Cool, you can do that. So, sweet. Explored. We've checked it out. Does it show? Uh, it 
does? Yes, it does. Okay, so we've checked out this one. I think we've checked out that one, didn't we? I can't recall. Okay. Let's keep moving south. Far south. Maybe I'll sleep. Hang on. Save it and sleep. Get some daylight. Right. Or not. We're going to get jumped in the middle of the night by something. Can we defend ourselves? By what? There's nothing here. Oh, hello. Oh, God, what's that? Oh, no, it's just... Okay, it's one of the... One of the skinny ones covered in... Mutant armor. Look at it. It has an active hitbox now because of that armor. You have to hit it where it's not armored. Oh, the armor just came off. Nice shooting. Very nice shooting. Okay, sleep. Oh, no, another encounter. What's that one? Okay, this is a bit tougher. They are indeed a bit tougher. Yeah, don't just point. Shoot your gun. Your leg was not armoured, dingus. There we go. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh god, it's one of those things. Oh look, what the fuck? Is it attacking... Oh my god! It's attacking the mutants as well? Why is that? Why would it attack the mutants? That's very interesting. In the prior game, the mutants and the cannibals never fought. Hold on. Okay. Let me equip an explosive arrow. These things are a little tough. Okay, Virginia, you're going to have to go all out on that thing. Here it comes. Whoop. A bit too close. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, it's like an amalgamation of two hideously mutated people into a giant... Fucked up. Oh, fuck a duck. Thing. Is it down? I hit it. It hit me and I hit it. So in the first game, I saw things like this. Oh look, she's hiding behind the tree. That beha that's the behaviour she did when she was nervous before. I hope I didn't accidentally hit her. Is she going to recoil from me? No, strange. So yes, in the first game we encountered that sort of thing, but they were specifically test subjects. They were test subjects for the Sahara Corps. They were being fed into the machine that they had. So there weren't that many of them. Okay. Here, though... Who knows what's going on? Okay, grab that arrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the other guy I, shot in the, I hit in the leg with an arrow? He went down here, didn't he? Retrieve that arrow? Okay. So, let's go. Let's get, yeah, I, I, I need to get as much exploring done this stream as possible. Yeah, as much as I can. Over here to the cart. Oh, God. Looks like the weather's turning. Right. So, where to now? Cross this lake. Might have to go the other way. And go south and see what happens. What the hell is that? What's this? Construction crews, maybe? Jesus Christ, what the fuck's going on with this? Is there something stuck underneath it? Campers? No, no, con survey equipment. Puff Corp employees. Surveying something. Just the island? I guess so. Hmm. 
Just looking for anything of note. Okay. My character is also quite hungry and thirsty. Let's have some, uh, yeah, some cooked noodles. Right. Uh, save the rest in case I need that buff for something. Okay. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Woo! Expert Hunter. There we go. I think I've hunted more deer with the golf cart than I have with bows and arrows, frankly. Get some meat. Oh, shit. No. Okay. Pieces of debris. Shit, shit, what the fuck? Holy crap, where did you come from? Holy crap, holy crap. Fuck. Damn it, god damn, he's taken off most of my armor. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Fuck, he doesn't give a shit. Oh god, he's got a friend. Fuck. Hit the legs, hit the legs. You down? Not down enough for me. Fucking hell. We'll take the bones, make some bone armor. Replace that which I've lost. Shit. How many? Just one? You gonna come down from there? How about now? Oh god damn it. I see, they're eating. Okay, get my arrows back quick. Make bone arrow yeah, make bone armor and get the fuck yeah, keep moving. There we go. Uh yep. Grab it. Right. Okay, so pile of bones. Not that many, unfortunately. Bit of duct tape, bit of rope. Right. Wear that. Here's one I made earlier. Right. Let's go. this go? I've never been this way. Sickle. I think it was actually a piece of a rib cage. Oh no. Rickety rope bridge. Nice and careful, I'm sure we'll be fine. Expert driver, me. Fuck. See? Expert driver, me. Oh shit. Oh god almighty! Oh god almighty! Okay, we're going down the right water rapids. Okay, right. 
Right. Slight error. Slight error. Can I get back in? Hang on. No, the answer is no. In fact, we're going over a waterfall, evidently. Uh, hang on. Now might be an excellent time to learn how the zip line works. Hang on. The zip line works. Let me show you. I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. The zip line works like this. You can't equip it. That's not helpful. Okay. I, I don't know how the zip line works. But I do know how the glider works, and that will save me from going over this waterfall by simply jumping and gliding majestically. All right. Hmm. So, what's that beneath me? That's another glider. Okay. So let's keep moving south. See what I can find. There's another cave that I haven't explored over there. Next to that large lake. Okay. Get a bit more... Yeah, get, get a bit higher. No, I can't seem to have combined the zipline with anything. I wonder why. Right. But yes, for those joining, welcome. Two golf carts ahead of me, another rope bridge. Okay. Large lake. Very cool. What's that there? Entrance to a cave. Okay. That could be worth checking out. Board it up. Okay. Let's have a... Yeah, let's have a butcher's and see what's down there, shall we? I'll just have a quick scout around the lake to see if I can see anything of note. Okay. Just going to also pour a quick drink. I've been getting on well with the carbonated water maker, by the way. I bought one uh, to try and wean myself off soft drink. It's going quite well. Okay. Piece of a kayak, I think. So where am I? I'm on the far south side of the island now. I've never been over here. What's that there? It's a moose. Bunch of crates on a dock. Another moose. Ah, oh, the helicopter again. Lots of deer. Okay. Is the helicopter following me, or is it circling a team of wounded mercenaries? Let's put ourselves down next to the cave. Here I go. Nope! Crab. Okay, there it is. What's it? It's circling something. There's something of note over there. Again, I'm assuming wounded security team members. Not sure what they're doing or why. I saw something. What was this? Another cultist. Okay. So this is one of the robed cultists that seem to be fighting the security people of Puff Corp? Their hallmark seems to be stabbing people repeatedly with knives. Where is he going? As in, when I find bodies that, are, that literally have about seven knives stuffed in them, it's normally the cultists. They go all Julius Caesar on the Senate floor on, like, unarmed construction workers. Okay. It's a simple boat, decades old, left to rot. Board it up. Why? That's a creepy musical sting. What's here?
Thank you, Shallow Winds. Just bats? You're not going to get me, developers. You've gotten me in every single fucking cave, sometimes twice, but you're not going to get me now. You watch this. I'm not going to get phased by your bat sounds. By your obnoxiously loud bat sounds. This is me not being phased. See? Another badly decomposed boat. Thank you, Tabatsi. Tabatsil? Tabatsi. More of this weird goo secreted by the mutants. Cannibal trophies. Spinal cord. Bones. Thank you, Major Kleborstoff. Thank you, Major. Cave in. Ah. Uh. Oh, fucking hell! Oh. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. <sighs> oh, dear. God damn it. God fucking damn it. God damn you, end night, end light. God damn you. I'm gonna deduct points in this. Fuck it. You know what? I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna modify the script. Never mind. I, I, I was. I thought I was gonna give you a fair shake, but fuck it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go off on like a nitpicky rant. I'm gonna find the most pathetic, like really stupid reasons to nitpick the game, just because of the bats. Just because of the bats. I'm gonna give it like a really provocative title, like "This game will give you diarrhea," and then there's gonna be big red arrows on the thumbnail. Like a shocked face. <sighs> like a picture of the forest. What's that? More Christian imagery? The caves are now a lot more atmospheric. Oh wait, yes, sorry. I've forgotten something. I found a set of night vision goggles. That is somehow not very helpful. A little bit helpful. Thank you, Dodge. Thank you very much. Sorry, a quick favor. For the sake of immersion, do you mind if I switch off these sub alerts? Is that okay? It was just that, you know, quiet and. Uh, one moment, if you please. Apologies. Uh, thank you sincerely if you do. Yeah, if you do sub. I just want to. Get immersed. The caves are quite a lot more atmospheric in this one. One second. Um, the night vision goggles are, oh god, actually not as helpful as I was hoping. No, it's not Christian imagery. What is that? I have no... What's squelching? People, obviously. Doing what? Dancing? Holding hands? Something is squelching ahead of me. Ah. Cannibal babies. Damn it, that's not helpful at all. Oh god, what was that? What, they move fast? What? Oh god almighty, what the fuck? Huh. Aren't they meant to just, just jump pathetically and look really unintimidating? Oh, they crawl now, oh god. No, no. 
No, they were goofy before. Don't make them chilling. Especially when I can't see my feet. The torch switched batteries automatically. Another cool little feature. So in the first forest game, you made your way through cannibal caves which were covered in so much gore, so much blood, that you kind of numbed you to it. The cave systems in the forest too are, seem a bit more controlled. I actually slipped and fell down like a pre-cutscene bit and, and got lost from my original entrance. They're a lot more restrained. No, that's the thing, Tactical. I don't think so. I, I will make that clear when I do the second YouTube video. Remember that my video came, what, like a month before the launch of the sequel? It was far too late for my video to have any influence on any major design decisions. Far too late. Oh. Is that just a... Uh, one of the little skinnies? I guess so. Or is it one of the eyeless ones? No, it is one of the eyeless ones. Oh god, am I- Oh Jesus! Oh god, oh god, what was that? That made me jump. That really made me jump. What was that? Something grabbed my leg. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I don't like these. I don't like these. Oh god! Fuck! I think these are true mutants, they're not just cannibals. Fuck. Oh god, are you glowing? You're glowing? Why are you glowing? What the fuck? Ah, fuck! Fuck. Fuck. They're actually kind of tough. Because they swim so... So haphazardly. It was glowing blue. Was it just merely reflecting the light? Another one. Where? Where's the other body? Here. <laughs> Fuck! Making sure. I see. This one is not a mutant. What's the difference? Size, I think. Okay. Fuck. This one is not. Okay, this one's a regular. Fuck. Nope. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. little bit of the flesh armor, but it is gross. Let's drink some clean water. Sorry, I'll just go invisible on Steam. My bad. Sorry, guys. Whoops. Pieces taken in from outside? Why would eyeless creatures care about light?
they do venture outside. I've seen them milling around. Some of them look horribly lost. If you're just joining the stream, I've gone underground in Sons of the Forest, investigating the subterranean cave networks full of hideously mutated people. Fuck. Another one. Shh. More of that goo that they secrete everywhere. Certain mutants have the ability to encase people in this stuff Jesus Christ I can make my way along the edge there to get to that or if I needed to but I don't know why here I think we did a loop okay it's fine go up here yeah look this metal uh, fucking solar fight recently discovered it seems to have well hang on let me show you if, I, if you hit it with a pickaxe, it seems to generate electrical sparks. The newspaper said that it had po potential clean energy applications. And this strange device that I found looks to be made from this material. Sparking in my hand. I don't know what it is. But Puffcorp seemed very interested in acquiring it. of it here. Yes, I can mine it, but I don't know why. It has no use to me. Okay, it goes under the water. Here we go. Rebreather with a couple of tanks. Stick it on. Oh, the sounds are still playing. Sorry about that, folks. Hang on. Uh, thank you, Ornery and Occam's Ninja and Catmo. Thank you. One second. So I just need to try. I'm trying to mute it for the sake of immersion. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Found it. Okay. So, Puffcorp purchased this island for 250 million. And I assumed it was because they must have known that was one of those one of the artifacts here that Sahara Corp were after. But I was also wondering if perhaps they don't have access to it. That the cultists managed to break it up into pieces. Speaking of broken up into pieces. Security team member holding a grenade because he died before he was able to use it.
I hear swimming. Why do I hear swimming? It's not, it's wading. It's one of those. It's a mutant that is spewing this goo on the walls. I don't think there's sense... I think it's going to struggle to detect me if I stay quiet. Ignore that. Turn off this light. There's enough light in this cave. No, I'm super visible. Is that because I'm in the light? Maybe it's because I'm wearing very visible... Oh, shit. No, I'm, I'm, I'm max visibility. Fuck. I'm never going to get past that thing. Okay. I'm going to have to take it fast. I really hope I hit it. I hit it. Okay. It does not give a shit. It really doesn't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> I missed? Are you sure? I saw the arrow land in something. I just had an idea. Shh. The NVGs. Can I use the bow and arrow and? Fuck. I see. Can I aim whilst wearing these? Switch over to my explosive. Damn it, I can't see. There we go. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm still wearing the rebreather. Put it away. I don't think it makes a difference, really, but there we go. I don't know. Yeah, look, they're, go they're squirting this all on the walls. Encasing people in it. Just random thought. Don't confirm nor deny. Hang on a minute. You don't reckon that this is literally the solarite? Solified. Because the artifact... Shit. Are they the babies? Yeah, they're the babies. When I found the artifact, it was surrounded by skeletons that almost looked like they were turned into the metal. Do you reckon the artifact turns organic material into solophyte? There's lots of organic material lining the walls. I don't know. What's that thing? Oh, it's a leg. Skeleton embedded in the wall. I don't know. Look, I guess if we keep, keep your eyes peeled for a solar... Oh, shit. Oh, sh oh, shit. 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 Ah, I can't see shit. Rifle. Jesus Christ. These people got fucking massacred. Strung up aliens, xenomorph style. Rifle, rifle, a real rifle. Okay. Holy shit, now we're talking. Someone was smart enough to bring a fucking gun. Uh, like a real gun. To the island of deadly cannibals. Didn't seem to help them though. Fuck, there's so many corpses. I'm guessing I found their larder. MRE. 
Yeah, the eyeless cannibals, they dragged these bodies down here. And then they got encased for food, didn't they? Okay. So for those just joining, I'm exploring one of the caves. They seem to be inhabited by a very distinctly, well, heavily mutated, well, they all are, form of the cannibals with no eyes. And they're working with a special type of mutant that seems to squirt goo on the walls to preserve meat, I'm guessing? Shit. Alright, should we take it for a spin? Let's take it for a spin. See how it works, yeah? Here we go. Bang, bang. Jesus. That's loud. Does not care, does it? Okay. Oh, did it drop? Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Quick, pull its flesh off. Thank you, impotent banana. Okay, so that's something from this cave dive. We found the rifle. You know what? I'm going to be very amused if when we get to the service and we give the rifle to Virginia, she uses two hands for the rifle and the third hand for the pistol. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, those babies are actually... <laughs> they're actually uh, way worse now in this sequel. They're not just flopping ineffectually, they're scurrying. Look. Ah. No. No. You guys can... <laughs> fuck off. Okay, more solar fight. Looks like our exit. Another one of them. So what the fuck is this shit? Look at it very carefully. It's definitely just a, an, a, an ore vein, right? Fuck. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Thank you, Umlaut. Much appreciated. Thank you, mods. Uh, yes, indeed. I'm just sort of speaking my... Yeah. Speaking my mind. My first playthrough, so... Yes, I really like what they've done with the cave system. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. Where's the gun? Where is the fucking gun? Gun, gun, give me the gun. Okay, so... For those who did not see the first forest game, the deeper you went, the more of these strange... strange metal things you'd find. And if you went to the deepest part of the entire... basically, structures of unknown origin. And in the deepest part of the cave, you found these blades mounted in the walls to hold up the cave roof and they looked exactly like this some of them had collapsed over time indicating that they were they were incredibly old are these ones made out of made these oh god, oh god what the fuck is that what 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 is the fuck, fuck is that what is that what oh. no 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 fuck it up fuck it up fuck it up 
No, 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 no. I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? I think we need something bigger for this. Uh, grenades? Grenades, please. Grenades. I'll have some lovely grenades. Pull the pin. Pull the pin. Pull the pin. Okay. Pull another pin. Shit the fuck! Fuck. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't fucking see. I need the night vision. I need... Jesus Christ. What is that? Fuck. Don't let it hit you. Don't let it hit you. Hit it. Are they human legs? Stone arrows? Need something bigger. Shit, 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 shit. Explosive. Another one. Damn it. I blew it up. I can't inspect the body. What was that? Upside down? Shit. Yeah. Human limbs. Mostly human limbs. Runaway mutations. So there's... Ah, oh, damn. So there's definitely a major artifact here. In the first game, you only got that shit when you fed a child into a, a, a sacrificial obelisk. So what the fuck was that? I was sort of wondering if I was about to see like a, like a Shoggoth type, like a builder, you know, around these, I, I don't know, I think there was just a, a heavily mutated cannibal. One second. It is metal. Also... Uh, production note, in my forest video essay, do you remember when I found a piece of that metal and I went... Do you remember that at all? It's probably not. It's a very small part of the video. I added that in post. It didn't make a noise in the original forest because the developers didn't think to add one. The forest too, everybody. They have... The little things, they're building up. They're, they really are building up. Okay. Fucking hell. More of them. So again, in the first game, when we found this, at the end of it was the main artifact. The main big thing. It was behind an armoured door that the Sahara Corporation had built. So, are we about to stumble into an armoured door? Shit, gotta deal with him. Again, sorry, I know I keep switching the... fucking with the torch. I'm finding that the night vision isn't as effective as I was hoping. But I need to be able to see what I'm swinging at. <laughs> Shit, fuck. Got him. Where'd he go? These are just regulars. Should be okay. Stop and have a drink. Okay. Oh look! Even your GPS monitor shows no signal when it's in your inventory. <laughs> Hmm. 
What's that? More of the blades? No. Floor? Foundation? What, what's this? Partially caved in? Wait, wooden? Cultist, maybe? Came this far? Christian markers. They go all this way and then mark something as terrifying? What the fuck's this? Boxes? Rooms? So we don't know who built the original pillars. Are we about to find one of their subterranean living spaces? <sighs> oh no. Am I going to slide down this like I did the other one? Oh, I hope not. Oh, I hope not. No, we are. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit. Okay, I'm going really deeper. Way deeper than I expected. Oh no, no, no! Oh god. Okay, hang on, stop. Slow, 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 slow. Oh. oh no. Okay, this is really unnerving. Oh shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Shit, fuck. No. Where's the rebreather? No, wait, swim. Just swim. Okay, I am upsettingly deep. Can't go up. What is that? Large open space. Yeah, I'm guessing we're approaching the living quarters of whatever was here. Whatever creatures live this far deep. Drop that. Hang on. Oh fuck, I'm almost out of batteries. Rowboat. Someone got a rowboat this far. Fuck, it's another one of those gigantic things. Fuck. Those things are horrifying and they took a vast amount of firepower to bring down. What's that? It's just a rock. I thought it had markings on it. Light? Why? What's the light? Could be another sort. It could be another one of the artifacts. The last one was generating a light just like that. More solar fight. More of these structures. Corpses. Many, many, many. Another larder, maybe. No, wait, it looks like a... just a powered light. Security teams. No, 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 cultists! Batteries. The bodies of cultists. Mm. 
Hang on. Let me put this on a on a number. So this is f yeah, I mean this is far beyond anything I've seen in the first game. The number of these pillars, there were, there were but a few. Now it's far more than just pillars, it's I don't know. Cells, rooms, containers. All of it heavily caved in. I don't know. I don't know who built this stuff. More Christian markers, look. Can I save this far down? Because I really, really fucking want to. Um, can I, can I put this down, please? Yes, okay. Please, is there a stick? We have one stick. We will make a teeny weeny shelter and fucking save it. Because holy fucking shit. Okay. Hang on. Uh, oh wait, what? Oh, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh my god! <laughs> you can make an even bigger shelter. I had no idea. Okay. So again, sealed. Let's have a quick bite to eat. In trying times, my protagonist requires cat food. It's gelatinous mass squeezed down the throat. Helps to alleviate uh, the uh, terror that would, one would probably feel in this situation. <laughs> More blades. More mysterious sounds. We cycle from the first forest game, I assume. Moaning behind the walls. Breathing. One of those. Shh. 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 Okay, do you think I can take it in just a straight fight? I hope so. I have saved. really hits like a train. Hang on. Ouch! No, I'm fine. I boxed it. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Did it squeak when I fucking killed it? So one of the suggestions, just like thinking back to lore stuff to do with the forest, is that one of the reasons that the company, Sahara, were interested in the artifacts might be, this was never confirmed in the first forest, 
might be that the cannibals don't die of old age. I'm wondering these mutants down here if they're actually very very old. Sustained by whatever fucked up artifact is here. Perfect regeneration of cells, that sort of thing. Another rebreather cartridge. What is that? What is that? Huh? I've no idea what this is. It doesn't look like the tech armor that I've seen before. Fully enclosed? Environmentals? What is this? We're getting close, aren't we? It's ahead of us. Puff Corp have a lab somewhere. It's close, isn't it? The artifact is going to be close. Whatever they're working on, their lab must be here. Oh, shit. That's one of their personnel. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, cool. You put on the rebreather automatically. Just blades or pipes? More solar fine. Goes down. Let's follow. So if you're just joining the stream, this is my first playthrough. Another one of these panels. We've gone down far deeper than I've ever been. In either the forest or the forest too. And we're finding strange architecture made out of a metal that I cannot identify. I'm guessing it's ore from this solar fight that the corporation is so interested in. Builders are just unknown in both games. I wonder if perhaps I'm about to find something a bit more substantial when it comes to their uh, living conditions. Not just some random artifact in the middle of nowhere, but like an actual place where they live. Or lived, I hope. Whatever they are. What is that? Sparking, do you hear that? Electrical arcs? Another piece of that artifact, maybe? Look, 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 look. What were they doing? What? Who are you? Yeah, what is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Wait. It looks like a vessel. Human.
What is that? It's a solar fight. It's reacting to it. Why? Conducting it. It's, it. it's made out of solar fight. It's a human vessel that's made out of solar fight. These people aren't Puff Corp employees. These people don't belong here. Time jump? Dimensional jump? Seven months ago, that note, we detected something that looked like a, di a dimensional shift. Did this come through? The Christians found it. The cultists found it. They tried to seal it off. Holy shit, this is cool. Hang on. They got in. Maybe these aren't the recent cultists. They would have been able to identify that this is human. Ancient Christians. Jesus. Holy shit. Holy shit! Ah! Uh, just a skeleton. What is that? What is this? What is that? Oh. <laughs> what is that? A torch. It's gone dead. It's gone completely dead. Light it, light it, light it. Fucking hell. Still in English. It's not that far in the future. What is this? What have I found? Yes, it's another piece of whatever whatever artifact this is. No idea. But what else did I just grab? Ancient armor. Look at it. That's not ancient armor. Holy shit. Okay, um... <laughs> Let me have a look at the outside of the craft. So, crew members, many of them, jumped or, well, obviously crashed, but maybe a dimensional jump? An alternate version of humanity? Using solarite as a metal? I presume these aren't the builders of everything down here. I think these people got caught in something. Obviously, the spaceship is deep underground. It got teleported down here, didn't it? It's reacting with the solar fight in the cave. I'm guessing its reactor is discharging through the ore. 
What's that? What's that shape? Is that a shape or just... But the armor is fit, fits a human. And it wasn't sealed like the suits. What is that? A large, large vein of solar pipe. It's just conducting the energy from the craft, isn't it? Okay. The character's starving. So has that been down there for seven months or longer? Hang on. No, it has to have been down there for a very long time because the Christians boarded it up. I don't know when that was, but they found it and it's been discharging energy this whole time. Okay, hang on. I want to go and put this armor on a rack when we get back to the base and inspect it. So right near the beginning of the game, I did find a book that was written by Timmy LeBlanc, who is the son of the protagonist from the first game. Decades have passed since then, but it appears that Timmy has become an author who specializes in the belief slash study of, uh, what is it, alternate realities, alternate worlds. Apparently, he has a mutant arm. Do you reckon his exposure to the artifact in the first game has given him, an, given him, I suppose... Oh my god, on toast! Fuck me! Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me! Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Fuck! This game is fantastic! <laughs> I'm sorry, Lulu. I'm sorry, honey. God. Fuck. 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 Okay. Calm. Calm. Don't you hit me with the bats. I'm okay. I'd like to leave the cave now. Okay. More of these metal... Oh god, they're getting tighter. 
That's really claustrophobic. These metal panels. God, it's like a fucking... Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I would really, really like to go and leave the cave. Oh, fucking hell. Daylight? Sweet daylight? That'd be lovely. Clutching the cross, look. Hugging it. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, God almighty! Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, shit, shit. What was that? What was that? What the fuck was that? Oh. Oh. You're human? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're like a spider. Jesus. Fuck. You are really fucking mutated. Fuck. Oh. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, no, 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 They're fast. They're so fast. Ouch. Did I get him? I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. Uh, for those joining, um, fuck. <laughs> God. Okay. My head is absolutely swimming. Um. Do I have it? Oh, hang on. Those are batteries. Completely empty. Okay, there's a little bit of charge left in the MVGs. Hold on to that. Put the MVGs on slot 7. Light the torch and then switch over when we absolutely need it. What the fuck? Eyeless? Spindly? It almost looks like it's with purpose now, as opposed to just an amalgamation of, you know, two, two organisms put together. Adapted to maybe climb the goo on the walls. I don't know. Yeah, yeah more meds, more meds, more meds. Yes, good idea. Skin pouches. Let's open them. Drop this rotten meat. These purses here, made out of human skin. Okay, some shotgun slugs. Okay. How long would it take to evolve down here? What? Well, it depends on natural selective pressures. But still, I mean, you're talking hundreds of thousands, many, many hundreds of thousands, if not just mutant armor. Uh, if not millions. Okay, so so theory that's going around in my head, based primarily on the fact that Timmy LeBlanc has become an expert in his adult life. So for those joining the 
Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, please tell me this is the exit. Exit? Yes, skull? The fact that he's become... Uh, interested in interdimensional... What is it? Uh, alternate realities. Are mysterious builders underground, are they interdimensional? Or were? Or are? Oh, Jesus! Fucking fucking... For fuck's sake, I want to leave the cave. I want to leave the cave. I've had enough of this cave. Is there light at the top of this cave? This cave sucks. This cave sucks. Oh, there's no light. There's nothing. Oh. <laughs> What's up here? Is it light? Freedom? No, don't go down. Why is it going down? Oh. Yeah, I want my Kelvin. I want to hug Kelvin. Oh God almighty, no don't do this again. What the fuck? It's not the same one, is it? We're not going down the loop, are we? Oh God, I hope not. Where the fuck am I? You're kidding, I'm not... Hang on. Where do I go? There's no... Wrong turn? That's the slide. This way? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Last time it went, like, really... I think? Yeah, we're okay. We're fine. No, we're not. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Now would be a lovely time to build a lovely piece of tarp on the floor, and then take this tarp and accessorize it with a stick. And ignore the interdimensional extra uh, fucking whatever that is that was down there. Hang on. Save it. Save it. Right. Deconstruct this. There we go. NVG's on. Let's switch over to uh, a, a gun. A gun. I like guns. Okay, that worked. The gun works! <laughs> the gun works! Oh god. Okay. Didn't hit him in the head. Gotcha. Alright. Ooh, many, many, many bodies. Oh, fucking hell. Maybe I, maybe I did just ring the dinner bell after all. Damn. Fuck. There's two. They're hitting each other, I think. If there's two... Grenade. One, two... Three. Gotcha. Okay. MVG's off. Save the power. Get out the torch. Oh, Jesus. Fucking, yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? So, sorry, as I was saying, so, interdimensional shit, alternate realities, is the artifact n doing shit like that? Is it pulling things in from alternate realities? Are these, in fact, not mutants in the sense that, are these just alternate forms of humanity? Having evolved deep under, in caves as opposed to on the surface? Look at that, fuck. 
that ship that was that was pulled through and crash landed in a cave full of its human crew. I'm guessing the ship was made out of solophyte, which is why it was conducting with the ore. The Christians found it long ago and boarded it up. Is it like a, you know, like an Indiana Jones, what is it, a crystal skull thing? Creatures that are moving, or, you know, stuff that's moving between dimension, alternate realities. A reality where humanity gained space flight. And was flying around in solar fight spaceships. So what the fuck am I wearing? What is this armor? It's humanoid. It fits me. Which is notable considering how much around here is not. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I can't see. <laughs> shit. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> it wouldn't fit him. Or him. <laughs> Okay, they're not so tough. They're just spooky. Whoa. Fuck, fuck. Ouch! Ouch, that hurt! Fuck you! Ouch! Come on, die, you fucking disgusting. Gotcha. Stay down. Okay, we'll take its armor. There's no point. I've got max... Well, whatever this is. Okay, quickly take this. And then eat something. I'm knackered. Eat an MRE. Don't know how you're going to fit it through the mask of whatever I'm wearing. Just slop it through one of the eye slots, I guess. Okay, turn this off. Battery's low. Equip this. <clears throat> so if you're just joining the stream, sorry for context, I've gone down a very, very deep cave in Sons of the Forest, only to find not just cannibals, not just Christians boarding up things with their crucifixes, but but like massive panels made out of a strange metal. Huge subterranean construction. And a fucking spaceship. But human, a human spaceship. With human crew members scattered around the place. Its pilot or captain was wearing a suit of armor that I'm currently wearing, which seems to be immune to damage. I'm still getting hurt, but... Hang on. What's that? Hang on. I hear something buzzing. Damn. I'm so low on resources. My god, this cave. Something's buzzing up there. Do you hear that? It's another piece. Another piece of this artifact. What the fuck is it? Can I combine them now? Three pieces. I require four more. The outer shell. That's the core of it, isn't it? Okay. So, yeah. So, again, I... I think that... So, uh, hmm. Sorry, the thoughts are flowing around in my brain. I'm having trouble properly articulating. I thought I was a little worried that the game might ape the forest and just be, oh, it's another pharmaceutical company doing evil shit. But I'm starting to wonder if the pharmaceutical... Pharmaceutical... Uh, words. If the... If Puff Corp is entirely incidental. That they're just, you know... They were trying to, but ultimately they didn't have the artifact. If the artifact itself... 
is doing, I don't know, dimensional jumps or something. Was the island always here? Is it a lost thing? Is it jumping around? This is a lot of metal. Christians boarded out from boarded out from this side. Oh, why have I got that? What am I doing? Fucking okay, what button is that? Nine. Sorry, it's nine. Get rid of that. Fuck. What am I doing? Nine. I see. It's a weapon, not a light. that sound. I don't know what that sound is and I don't like it. Oh, it's another one of the clickers. Oh shit, they can break it? Is it just a little one or a big one? It's a little one. No, it's a big one. Hi. Hi. No. 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 Shh. It's sleepy time. Sleepy time? Oh no. That's a regular. Damn it! I just wasted an explosive arrow on a regular fucking cannibal. Damn it! the big one. There she is. She's a full-on mutant. She's tough. Oh, maybe not. Can I get some daylight, please? Actually, this is... Really unnerving. None of the fucking caves in the first game were like this. The fact that my exit keeps getting taken away from me. Oh, please be daylight. Water, waterfall, exit, waterfall maybe. Okay, more regular cannibal stuff. No wait, is that where I was before? I think it might be. I ignore you. Oh, God damn it. Let me out of this cave! I don't want to go back in the fucking water! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Did I check the other way? Damn it, it's scurried into the fucking... Damn it, it's just an enclosed waterfall. What was that noise? Oh 
God, we're going deeper. Oh, don't do this to me, Forrest. Come on, don't do this to me. Going in a circle? Surely not. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh god. Sleep now. Oh god, okay. Cloth, tin food. <laughs> Bones, yay. Okay, wait. Uh, another canvas safe. Um, for those who are just joining this, uh, yeah, I've managed to get myself really fucking hideous, hideously lost underground. Oh no, I have no stick. I can't. I have no stick. No stick. I didn't pick it up when I fucking dropped my one stick. No stick, no save! <laughs> oh, is this... Yeah, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Oh god, oh my god. Oh. oh, okay, okay, save it immediately. I'm so fucking relieved to be out. Okay, save, 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 save. Where are we? That was a fucking, that was a nightmare. Okay. Right, so... Oh. Done. Done, 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 done. Where are we? We're... Oh god. Oh god, what the fuck? All the way... Wait, what? How is that even possible? We've gone... we threaded the entire mountain. We're on the, the the south fucking western side? We've gone all the so we entered on the lake on the so that you see the top right corner? Jesus That's insane Okay, there's something I must do. We must get back to the camp. Hug fucking Kelvin for fuck's sake. Hang on. Sorry, I wasn't getting to it. I was yawning. I wasn't like... Although I could do with hugging Kelvin. Um, right, I need to see what I'm wearing. So for those just joining, um, if you're planning on playing Sons of the Forest, you might want to leave, because I think that was a major... Like, holy shit. More cultists. No, construction crews. Look, garlands of flowers murdered by the cultists. Okay. So, fly this way. Can I get the elevation I need? Don't know. Maybe. Wait. No, it's fine. I'll remember where that is. We're not exactly, exactly going to go in that cave again. So, fucking hell. So, my head is swimming. So, we've managed to find pieces of the artifact underground. And considering that it was all boarded up, I can presume that the Christian missionaries placed them there to split them up and get them away. Maybe they, maybe they placed them back? Maybe they found them in those locations. But also, more importantly, we found 
a human spaceship. It was very... You ever seen the film, the, is it The Sphere? Did it come through like a interdimensional tear or a... Oh shit, more cultists. Was it pulled from the future? Is it an alternate reality where humans have achieved space flight? Proper space flight with solar fight starships? Is that what the cannibals are? The mutants are? Is that what the builders of those structures are? Is that what solar fight allows you to do? To jump through dimensions? Sorry, I was going to land over there and deconstruct that canvas, but I'll leave it. Uh, yes, Arkama. I, I built it there previously to save and I forgot to get rid of it. I'm just going to ignore it and fly back to the camp and hug Kelvin. So inside that starship... So the Christians boarded it up. So they've definitely found it. So I'm, I'm going to believe... So I choose to believe that that artifact was not... Well, it might have originally been in the hands of that man. The captain, the pilot of the starship. And the Christians probably put it back where they found it. So is the artifact from the future? Or were they just some unfortunate suckers that got pulled in? I need to look at this armor. I found a suit of armor that he's wearing. Let me analyze... Yeah, let me have a look at it. Let me... I didn't really get a good look at it in the cave. And the moment I took it off him, his body just came apart. He'd been dead for a very long time. Okay. What's that flashing in the distance? Is that just an incoming storm? I need to pick up some speed. Dip down a little bit. Yeah, can you not see those flashes in the clouds? Is that just like a graphical error? Hmm. The camp's ahead of me. No, maybe it's just a skybox error. Right, we're landing, we're getting food and drink. My character needs to eat cat food desperately. There it is, there's home. Whoops. Okay, the glider didn't make it inside the base. I best go grab it. There we go. I got it. Oh, fuck. Kelvin, man, are you here? Kelvin, I need a hug. Where is he? He's running off getting wood or something. I don't know. Did I oh, I found another deer pelt. Yeah, is he doing hanky-panky with Virginia? Here he... Oh, yeah, sorry. 
Sorry about the pajamas, Kelvin. Listen, um, I totally forgot about this. Something way more important happened. Hey, whoa, 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 man. Can we not hug? <laughs> Please let me hug him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hang on. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Okay. Save the fucking game. Make it daylight. I need some daylight. Please. Don't get attacked at night. Okay, we're fine. Fuck. It's that fucking helicopter again. So I think this guy, the security forces, all that, I, I don't think they have anything directly to do with what's going on here. We'll see. They're watching, but... Shoot it with the rifle. <laughs> well, I don't 100% know that they're hostile. Okay, so. Whew, in that cave, in that ship, I found this. What is this? How? Winter jacket. Here we go. No, wait a minute. There it is. What is that? What? What is this? What the fuck is this? I can't select it? I can't put it on a rack? What is that? Ancient armor. It's a suit. It's not armor. Okay. What am I looking at? It looks like it's made out of solophyte. Refined. Looks like a fucking Necron, yeah. But it's not like... Power armor, or anything. It looks almost like it's ceremonial. It looks like something that... A cannibal would wear in a ceremonial capacity. You know? But they wouldn't have the ability to manufacture that. Was that already on the ship? You know? Did it come in the ship? Because the, gu the guys who were in the ship had those fucking full-on spacesuits on. This would look fucking out of place. It's not even fucking sealed. Did the cultists find this somewhere and put it back? He was in the chair. He was in the chair. I don't know. I can't explain this. Is he too from the original wearer from an alternate dimension? The guys in the hazmat might not be the guys from the ship. Might not be. I uh, Again, I expected Puff Corp and having a base nearby, but at the same time, they were all clustered around the ship. They had no immediately obvious markings and their color their, well their colors were similar to the internals of the ship I'm guessing they probably were the crew but who is this what is this he's doing all of that with his left hand god damn dude um listen come here are you actively ignoring me because I'm wearing the scary armor? Listen, um, could you... L let me give you some clothing that isn't fucking... Oh, no, you, you want to wear the pajamas. Okay, that's fine. You won't let me give him other clothes. Can he wear the armor? I don't know. Kelvin, can you wear this? Uh... No, but I, I'm wearing it. Hang on. Can you wear whatever the fuck this is? Uh, let me put on... Right. Stop. No. I can't give it to him. Huh. Okay, so yes. Where my head is now, folks. I reckon we've got some interdimensional alternate reality plot thing. I reckon these artifacts don't simply resurrect the dead like the first game. I reckon they're 
jumping. What the fuck? Look. Is this like a transportation system? Are the original sort of builders or whatever the fuck's down in the in the caves, are they like interdimensional something? I don't know. Yeah, like event horizon type shit or uh, sphere. Again, I'm feeling it, the film Sphere. I keep quoting. So it's um, in that film they find uh, they find a, a, a strange ship under underwater in the ocean, and they go down there and investigate it, and they find it's a it's a ship from the future, and it's accidentally jumped back in the past, and they realise that the the scientists realise that they can't they can't fucking tell anyone because they'll alter the events of the of the pre yeah they'll alter the present. Sorry, is it abyss or sphere? What am I talking about? But yes, also aboard the ship they find a really fucking crazy alien artifact. I mean, possibly. Maybe the, did maybe the ship found this and brought it back here? Then, I don't know. <coughs> yeah, he's off to get wood. It's fine. Okay. I don't want to go down in another cave this evening. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, fuck. What is he doing? Is he fucking frolicking free? Okay. So, I failed to find... Sorry, after... <laughs> I know it sounds petty. After all this time, I still failed to find the CEO's home. Let me show you these notes. So, we found it and we broke it. So that's clearly what they found. The Christians drew it, right? Okay. And I found like three pieces. In addition... Ah, oh yeah, does this... Wait, lightning, look at that. Lightning coming off spheres. Are there solar fight spheres somewhere? Giving off lightning? Uh, that's the court. Silas, blow it up. Blow the wall right out. You'll be able to sneak in. Everyone will be at the party. Silas, the entrance will be in Puffton's home. I have yet to find the home. Okay. Strange. You think it would be obvious from the sky, you know? The only other possibility is that the entertainment bunker where Virginia is currently nearby is it. And the key card, you know, the, the one that I've yet to find, gets me through. I don't know. Hang on, my character is thirsty. Um, I'm not sure I want to wear this fucking creepy armor, but... Hmm... Yeah, we'll do a light bit. Yeah, we'll do some more exploring, a little bit more. Also, sorry, can, sorry, I just noticed there's a lot. There's so many more viewers than I expected. Hi, everyone. Uh, I got a bit distracted going down that cave and kind of unnerved. Thank you, Doctor Doom and Jacked Chimp and uh, Fonsky, Spuds and Noshi and Primo Lion. Hi, everyone. Oh, can I just take my shirt off? That went all alien isolation on me. <laughs> Sorry, did I, did I, I didn't mean to make people jump when I nearly shat myself when that skeleton fell on me. I wasn't scared. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh, dried meat. Lovely. Get some dried meat. Uh, can I get the, oh, hang on a minute, do I still have a bit of food remaining? I do. Okay, drink this. Okay, I have no batteries at all, so I'm going to have to find some. All right. Uh, yes, indeed. I, I did, Mailman. Uh, the, the purple marker appears to be... Um, it's a grave, and I think it might be a grave for um, a B team. They're like a, the, the second rescue team. But I can't find the shovel. I'm still looking for it. Hang on. Wait, what's that noise? Kelvin, if you're on my left, who's, not, who's over there? Oh, great. It's one of these. Uh, excuse me. You're not allowed in here. Yes. Uh, could you fuck off? No? 
How about now? <laughs> Kelvin, we got another one. Hmm. Please close the bloody door behind you, Kelvin. Gap in it. Maybe I should fix that. Right. <laughs> can this be picked up? Oh, I don't think it can. No, it breaks down, doesn't it? Damn. This is a fun little trap. It's like a masher. The sticks thrust them towards the uh, the bit and they get chewed up. Right, hang on. Let me sort some food and drink out. Right. Okay, have a drink. Uh, do I have any remaining? Got a bit of clean water here. Drink this. Then go, yeah, go get some fresh, clean water. Fill up everything before I go out again. Take care, your account is locked. Where's the saucepan? Oh, obviously, I, I took it with me, obviously. Okay. There we go. Fill this up with clean water. Okay. Oh, bloody hell! That trap is going to be the death of me. Right. Scoop that up. Oh, yes, of course. When Virginia gets back, do you think I should give her the rifle? All right. But I presume that's my only rifle. I'm not going down in that cave again. Fuck that shit. Okay, put this here. And please make just clean water. You don't want to keep it? Well, I could always take it back off Virginia. Neat. Don't give me that look, dude. I just have went through a fucking shit show underground. You got to stay up here in your onesie. Oh, God. Looks like we've got company. Alright. You want to play this game? Hmm? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, charming. <laughs> oh, we both went. Uh, ow, that actually really hurt. Oh, charming. Okay, <laughs> the rifle is uh, very useful, I'd say. What are you doing? Right. Have some meds. Let's get out there quickly. Let's not waste time. Do I have... Okay, I don't have... I need my golf cart. I need to play some, play some relaxing music. Did I break the radio in here again? Oh, I did. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for another radio. Okay, so where am I going now? We still need to find Puffton's home. Virginia's over there. I dare not go back in that cave. But that doesn't mean I can't keep searching from the air. Right. Okay, reset the trap. Dry some fish before I go. Well, I've got I've got quite a bit of dried meat. So, oh, I've, you know what? I completely forgot about the water. Put the water on to boil, and then didn't do anything about it. Hang on. We can I fly through, or just crash into my own roof? You know, that's fine. All right, water is boiled. Okay. So I'm going to fill up the flask. All right, and hold down E. That's true, Defaulty. Yes, the helicopter was circling near the, the lake cave, wasn't it? I wonder if there's anything of note over there. Take some crunchy wungies. See if we can bump into Virginia. Okay. How do you think, um... How do you think Virginia's, you know, like... 
anatomy anatomy works. Do you think she has two of something? Hang on. <laughs> yeah, probably. So if two guys banging one chick would be an Eiffel Tower. Would four guys banging Virginia be like a mangrove tree or something? <laughs> what? As if I'm the only one thinking it. Ye pure of hearts in the chat. I know this chat, you horny motherfuckers. You don't think I lurk before you fuck it before I start streaming? And you guys are talking about butts and tits and shit? Hmm? Ilsa. Right. <laughs> Scatter. <laughs> uh. Okay, so let's go... Yeah, let's go back the same way again. Okay. So yes, over here in real life, I'm trying to deliver this bullshittery video uh, for you, which is armor, prairie fire, so Vietnam. Sorry, I, I was really hoping to have it done. I should have entered crunch time this weekend, uh, this week, and just stopped streaming until it was done. But I got sucked into Sons of the Forest, so here we are. I think I can get it done by tomorrow, frankly. Hopefully. I think so, Nervous. So beneath this live stream is a, is a Google Sheet uh, on that first tile. That can, uh, So the fourth tab, I think it is, is a list of all of the open QA issues. The ones that remain aren't that serious. So if I can get most of those done, hopefully that test render will be good. Okay. So for those joining, you see those two yachts? The cultists were using them. It's where I found that note about Puffton's home. I also got a, a, a what is it, a, a GoPro camera with footage of them setting sail to this place. So we know that the cult, oh look at that. Oh, the fucking ducks. Devious bastards. So we know that the cultists came here from outside. We found one of their pamphlets too. How many hours am I into the game? I'm not sure, sorry. Quite a few. Probably about 20, maybe more. Okay. So the helicopter was again checking out this place. Have I been here? I think I've been to this one. Just in the dark? Yes, I have. I remember this. We may as well stop and can always take flight again. Right. A replacement radio. That would prove useful for all of 20 minutes until I hit it with an arrow by mistake. Okay, an MRE. Scribbles. Crossbow bolts for a weapon that I do not possess. Yeah, we've been here before, but at night. Kill Puffton. Uh, duct tape, some wire, very useful. Uh, wait. The camera again? It respawned? How strange. Right. Yeah, this is where I found the footage of, uh... Of the lawyer, Zhang, shooting the shit out of the cultists. Okay. So that X, I've already explored that cave. Let's keep going. Right. Oh, I don't have it. Because I left it there. 
Yes, Timmy's toy pieces all over again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Is that enough? Yep, that's enough. Alright. Yeah, what else is going on uh, currently? So this, yeah, so as mentioned, I got some nice flowers uh, for my mum. And then I went up for Mother's Day in the UK, which was today. Uh, my mum made some homemade pizzas. And uh, I also saw my brother, Lamram. Ram, he brought his kids. And without trying to sound rude, um, the fact... So, I'm continually extremely grateful that I don't have children. A brief exposure to other people's children is an immediate... Oh my god, I'm so fucking glad. Yeah. They seem like a nightmare. Maybe I'm getting some hard disagree, like, sh head shaking from any parents in the chat. To each their own. But me personally? Oh god. No. I would feel so awfully trapped. The little one, the little baby, would not stop screaming for about two hours. And the other one had repeated temper tantrums, throwing a rubber-coated tablet onto the floor, which was playing extremely annoying YouTube videos for kids. One of them, repeatedly, every, and I do mean every, 15 seconds, was going, Bruh. 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 Why? I don't know. I couldn't tell you what the fuck it was. But just imagining being a parent and just having your child on the tablet. I'd go insane. What's that? How much money does it make? Oh. Chat, I'm pleased to announce I'm pivoting over to making content exclusively for YouTube kids. Thank you for your viewership. Oh, look. Look, 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 look. We haven't been down to that one. Have we? No, we haven't. Okay. Let's go. What's out there? Here we go. It was a wonderful landing. Okay. So every time we found... What's this? Every time we found one of these derelict wooden homes, we found cultists... Just containers. And a cave system underneath, but never a big one. Well, one of them was a big one. Where is it? Oh look, another blue marker. So that's the yeah, that's the large lake system that I went into in that into that here. Okay. So for those joining, I think either ancient Christians. Well, I don't think they're that ancient. I think these are actually fairly modern yeah. Christians are setting up or were setting up these huts. And I think some of them went crazy and started killing each other. When they discovered the presence of a... Of an artifact. Yeah, look, light bulbs. These aren't ancient... Okay, what's this? What's this? What's this? What are they drawing? What are they seeing? What is that? What is that? What is that? Is this... Just another... Okay, are they getting visions of the same thing? Two orbs are suspended above a rocky floor with lightning arcing from them. What are those orbs? <coughs> this was drawn by another hand. Look. They're seeing the same thing. Are they getting visions? Fuck. How are they?
Come on. What's the cube? Never leave the island. Yeah, look. So that, sorry, that's sorry, that's the one. Okay. They're, it's the same thing. Two orbs. Rocky ground. Are they just orbs of solar fight? Generating electricity? <clears throat> Are they fucking tears in space? I don't know. Fucking the alternate reality event thing? Why two? I don't know. I have no idea what that is. But I think they're getting visions. There's another... What's this? Oh, is that, oh my god. Why? 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 Strange people. So, again, every time I found one of these buildings, there's been a cave system nearby. Let's have a quick look around, shall we? Shovel. I could dig, but I do not possess the shovel, sadly. Whoops. Cat food. I'm all full. Solar fight. They were retrieving solar fight. What does this say? Today is October 18th. Night. Okay, here we go. We've got a date established. 1979. Repeated. Thursday, October 18th. It is 1979. Okay. Just some dude going crazy? No, I don't think it's a Groundhog Day should like type thing. I think he's just going crazy. Um, no, whoa, whoa. The, 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 the guy said he had the note. He said he hasn't slept in three months. Do you reckon it's affecting their minds? The artifacts? <laughs> They said that they split it into pieces. Did they have... Did they find one complete artifact? Was it messing with them? Were they struggling to maintain their sanity? Was the device not built for their minds, for humans? Whatever the device is. Did I check all three buildings? Yes, I've been in that one. No, I think I've been in all three now, have I not? Okay. Let's have a, yeah, quick search around, especially at the cave, yeah. Is there an entrance to a cave system nearby? I see no entrance in a floor. Why were some of them hanging upside down? I don't know. I figured that they were murdered and displayed by the security teams. But I think they might have killed each other. I think they've clearly gone insane. What's that down there? Just cannibal corpses? Go the other way. Is there a cave entrance under here? What are these? Oh, it's for, for the energy uh, mix, I think. 
Aha! Virginia is close by. No, I can't find one. Okay, so. Let's put down a GPS marker to indicate that this location has been searched. I've been here. Just so I don't accidentally loop back and check this out again. GPS marker placed. Hi. Oh, thank you, Virginia. You bought me a fish. Virginia, I have a gift for you as well. Oh, hello. Sorry. Hang on. Virginia, come here. Um, so I gave you that handgun. Wait, I can't give it to her? Is that not the same type of weapon? Okay, I took away her handgun. Three arms, why? Excellent question. Don't know yet. I see. It's a very specific... Uh, is, is it a shotgun? Here. Take that back. Okay. Well, in which case, I get to keep this weapon. She's eating berries. She's really, really enjoying those berries. All right. Let me continue up that way. Let's see what that blue marker is. Okay. So again, I, I, when I first started this, I assumed that Virginia might be the product of experimentation by Puff Corp? A repeat of the plot of the first game. But it's clearly doing way more. What I'm quite thrilled about, sorry, I, again, I'm trying not to do this. My head is swimming. I'm trying not to think about content creation. I'm just trying to get immersed in it. But I'm, I'm really, I'd be really pleased to see if the artifacts are having a demonstrable effect on the people here. Because in the first game, it was, it was, well, it, there wasn't much to really explain why the cannibals were being so crazy, you know? The artifact didn't seem to affect anybody. You feed people into it, and then it affects them. But it didn't seem to have any sort of AoE. So I'd be pleased to see, in this game, if there is something. If, if the fucking... If these artifacts are making people here go crazy. The security teams, the cannibals, the Christians, the cultists. We'll see. We'll see. What's that? Just a, just a log. I thought it might have been a corpse. But why am I unaffected? Not so sure I am unaff unaffected. Considering how much I've been killing people. Again, we'll see. Uh, how close to the marker am I? Some distance. Someone's stuffed in the freezer. Oh look, frogs. Huh. Hello. <laughs> I love the little attention to detail. Hello frog. One second. I'm just going to eat a piece of dried meat. Okay. One minute. Hang on. Oh shit, I'm out of water. Done. Hang on. Let's keep moving. Wait, there's a, there's another site for um another building site up here. Hang on. Construction workers here to get uh what is it? Solar, solar fight. From here? Where 
is that? What is that? Why make those? I've got something similar that, that, yeah, that looks like a bit of a stone altar as well. Okay. Totem? Does it scare the cannibals away? to them. Right. Okay. Up here then. Shit, it's getting dark. Aha, the deer. Hold on. Ah, I've got a gun. Can I shoot the deer with the gun? Get some, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a bird. If I can get some fur for the sofa. Oh, they're hauling ass. Hmm. Lost him. No, oh, wait, there he is. Look, everybody. It's Bambi's mum. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 I'm sorry, oh no, oh god, I wounded it, I didn't even get a clean kill on it. Damn it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Right, a few more bits of uh, deer pelt, and I'll be able to make a new sofa. See, I'm not even getting it for like survival purposes. No, I just want furniture. Okay, have some meds. All right, let's put the gun. Where is it? Put the gun on. Uh, I don't know four. Okay. Oh shit! Hello. Nice. Oh look, the tribes are fighting each other. How many bullets do I have? Uh. Oh, I have three. No wait. Okay, I have three bullets left. Right. Let's save that for when we absolutely, positively need something dead. Hmm. All right. So anyway, for oh Jesus Christ, for those joining, I'm thoroughly enjoying Sons of the Forest. I'm very impressed. Mechanically, it's a huge upgrade over the forest. The map is huge and expansive. The NPC system is interesting. The building system is very interesting. The plot has a lot of intrigue. Uh, I, yeah, so spoiler warning. So I strongly recommend if you are going to play it, probably best to mute now for the next two well, minute or so. Last chance. Okay. So this stream, I've been exploring the island and I've gone down multiple, well, a very extensive cave system to find pieces of a glowing artifact and also cave systems that are covered in metal panels and pipes and, and like, like structures. A huge amount of construction work. It doesn't look human. Which isn't a great surprise, because the original Forest game had that too. But what was a huge surprise was the presence of a human starship, a spaceship, built to human proportions, with crew members scattered around the place. I think we might have a bit of a, like, that film The Sphere situation. Are people being pulled, like, through interdimensional or time travel or something? Because the ship was down inside a cave, it... Clearly teleported there. It didn't fucking fly. A log. So I'm wondering if in the first game, if the device resurrected the dead, 
Does this one do weird fucking alternate dimension shit? It's another flare. It's another wounded security officer. Every time you reach them, they're too badly wounded. His friend had the GPS marker. What is he marking? Another cave system? Another cave system. Okay. Virginia followed me. Put that down. Yeah, I probably don't really have the time to do another full cave dive. Looking, it's already, t uh, it's already, hang on. Damn. What happens if I click again? Does it? Ah. Oh, there we go. Oop. One behind you, Virginia. Okay, so we're on the far south side. So that's the cave that I went into over there. Just going to quickly poke my head in. Is it a really big cave? Might not be. I don't have any batteries. Yeah, looks quite extensive. Okay, I'll probably leave this till next time, folks. I need I need batteries if I'm gonna explore. Okay. Hang on, put that away. Need daylight too. Where do those islands go, I wonder? Not sure. Oh, hello. Um, sorry, so thinking about it, folks, looking at the time, it is, yeah, it, it is quite late. I'll probably pick this up again, uh, tomorrow? But yeah, holy fucking shit! Um, so, yeah, wow. Really quite exciting, uh, a cave dive there. Well, thank you for being here. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, I, yeah, good idea, we best save. Um, I'm going to continue working on armor prairie fire bullshittery. Hopefully I can get it done tomorrow. I um yeah, so it's Baldur's Gate in the uh, evening tomorrow, but I'm I'm sure I'll be around for this in the morning. Right. Okay. Put down another one, why not? Right. So thank you again everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Much appreciated. Thank you for your presence here this evening and uh yeah, I hope to see you again tomorrow as I try to... Un well, good, if you do buy the game, good luck with your own base building, and good luck with your own attempts to solve this mystery. Hmm. Right. So, who's doing what? Let me have a look. Are any of my clan mates doing anything? Right about now. Hang on. So. Thank you, Trigger. Thank you for the host there. Right. Uh, my brother's on. What's he doing? So my t so my brother was so tired that uh, when yeah so on Mother's Day he basically flopped on the sofa uh, with his ba with his baby and just fell asleep. Um, so he's got some energy back. I'll leave you in his company. So um, yeah, this is my brother. He's an obed. Then again, so am I. And uh, yeah, I'll let him explain what he's doing. Thank you again, folks. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.